We've got some breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ where Tiger Woods will not play at the U.S. Open Brookline, Massachusetts in a little over a week's time. Again, Tiger coming back from that car accident back in February 23rd of last year where he severely injured that right leg. has come back to play at the Masters where he did make the cut but shot 78 on both Saturday and Sunday. And then went to the PGA Championship in Tulsa, Oklahoma and made the cut, but then had to withdraw due to his injuries. Now, this is what he put out on Twitter. Tiger saying, I previously informed the USGA that I will not be competing in the US Open golf as my body needs more time to get stronger for major championship golf. I do hope and plan to be ready to play in Ireland at the Open next month. I'm excited to get out there soon. All right, let's bring in Kyle Porter, the First Cut Podcast. Kyle, what do you think about Tiger's announcement today? Yeah, busy news day. I, I'm not, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm not surprised just because, it, you know, obviously he, he pulled out of the PGA Championship and, and has been struggling with his leg, uh, obviously, as we've seen since playing the Masters and the PGA. But I am a little bit surprised because I, I sort of thought, Tommy, after the PGA Championship that people, you know, people were kind of saying, hey, Tiger should take a year off. He should take two years off. He should get back to being healthy. And I kind of thought like, this is just what it is. It's not going to get that much better. And so I think from that perspective, I'm a little bit surprised that he's not playing the U.S. Open. But I think more than anything, Tommy, it speaks to um, how how desperate, I don't know if that's the right word, but how desperate he is uh, to play in the Open Championship with the old course at St. Andrews. You know, he won there in 2000, historically. He won there in 2005. He's called uh, St. Andrews and the old course uh, his favorite in the world. And, you know, I, I think that is one that um, he just doesn't want to miss. So he doesn't want to jeopardize playing in the Open Championship uh, at, at the end of July. And I think part of the reason for that, Tommy, is this might be the last time Tiger Woods plays in an Open Championship at the old course at St. Andrews. We don't know when it's going back there. Uh, I, I presume it's going to be four or five years from now. Is Tiger going to be healthy enough four or five years from now to play at St. Andrews? So I think. This is a little bit of a precaution to not do anything silly to ruin his opportunity to play at least competitively in one, for sure, one last Open Championship at St. Andrews. I think you bring up a good point, and correct me if I'm wrong, who's either right before the Masters or after when we saw Tiger play through the weekend. You even said probably the Open is a good time frame, but then perhaps from what we saw at Augusta National, maybe even Tiger thought that he could give it a shorter go, or at least the time he needs to get ready. But again, you saw him at Augusta, then in Tulsa. What were the differences in that leg and his health uh, from tournament to tournament? Yeah, I, I had always, you're right, I had always kind of circled the Open Championship this summer as like his return date, his, his return to professional golf since that car crash in February of 2021. Uh, and he did come back earlier. I, I, I was surprised, and I think he was surprised, Tommy, you know, at the Masters, his um, his pain and, and kind of the suffering that he was going through seemed to kind of increase um, just a little by little as the week went on. So there was kind of a, a linear uh, run to it over the week. And, and that made sense uh, based on where he was at. But I think, again, I was surprised and he was surprised at the PGA Championship that it seemed to kind of go more up and down. One day it would feel fine. The next day it would hurt a ton. And that lack of of kind of incremental pain as weird as that sounds i think was disconcerting where you don't know what you're getting on friday afternoon it might not be the same as you get on saturday morning and so that was the difference between the masters was very linear it got worse as the week wore on the pga championship was was very odd in that it didn't get worse as the week wore on it got worse on tuesday then it got better on wednesday and then worse on thursday and so on and so forth, so forth as the week wore on and and that's sort of harder to manage that's harder to deal with if you're a professional athlete so i think that more than anything probably bothered him uh, at the pga championship uh last month more so than than the pain he was going through at the masters in april you know through these two major championships since he's returned from that injury kyle we're, we're learning more about his process and especially in tournament what he claims it takes for him to get ready from round to round and we talk about early late late early to be optimal for him <laughs> Uh, what questions, though, do you still have about either maybe Tiger's process or, or what he needs? Do we think time will be enough given that he's given himself more one way here? Yeah, I, I think that's a great question. And I think the question that I still have is what does 100% look like for Tiger Woods 
uh, at this age with the injuries that he's gone through? Are we are we close to it? Is is the Masters kind of close to what 100% feels like for Tiger Woods with his body right now? Or was that 50%? I don't know that he knows, and I don't know that even if he did know that he would disclose that to us. So I think that's my big question, because if he's close to 100%, then there's just no real path forward to him ever winning a professional golf tournament again, much less a major championship. But if he's only, if his body is only 60% recovered, then you could kind of talk me into him being competitive at an open championship in the future, maybe at Augusta National in the future. So I think that for me is the big thing. And, and again, I don't, I don't know that even if he did know, he would tell us, but I don't think he really knows because he's gone through so many different injuries that uh, what does 100% look like? I, I don't think he is, um, he's completely aware of what that looks like right now. And, 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 you know, we we would need to know that to sort of project what his future in professional golf and, and in being competitive in professional golf might look like. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.